hello 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 and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be the update of the roku how i am doing with the roku well to be honest we had to take it back and the reasoning behind it there was a warning that came up on my tv as an overheating we just watched our first we're beginning to watch our old well, our first movie on there it was the movie clue i love the the board game clue is my favorite game of all times is clue but anyway off the subject we're watching the movie and a warning thing came across the screen on the corner and upper right hand corner saying tv or the roku is overheating and um i got up and i went over to it and it was hot to touch like if you just got into a hot vehicle and you're touching the steering wheel it's like you're trying to tap it when you're trying to drive that kind of hot touch it was on fire and my heart was pounding and i'm thinking this could have caused a fire and thank god a warning came up so um I was frustrated. I went back to Google. I did my research. I guess I didn't do enough research as in the problems of having the Roku. And there is documentation in Google as an overheating. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. There are people out there who haven't have never ever ran into this situation. Just to make clarification, it states in the Google to make sure it is in a ventilated area. It's not in a closed box situation. Like if you put your TV into a, um, like on a shelf, but it has sides on it to make sure there's air going around it. It was open. There was nothing enclosed behind it at all. Um, make sure that it's a cool place. It, it was not hot in that area for that to heat up the way it was. So it, it was very, very frustrating because I thought I did all my research. In actuality, I did not. On that, I, it made me to further how to utilize my Chromecast. And I'm going, I had, so let me finish this, is when I had started up Roku, there was different channels that are available. And one of them is Pluto, which is a free TV station that different, you know, they're not live, but it's streaming. And then um, there is a, a movie um, app too, that I'm able to cast to my Chromecast to start on my TV. One of it is Pluto TV and the other one is Tubi, is T-U-B-I I, TV. I hope I'm pronouncing those. I've had success with both of them. My Chromecast, I've had them over a year plus, and I've not had any issues with them at all. Um, I guess I'm just the unique one. I returned it back to Walmart on Sunday, and they didn't even question it. They didn't have any issues receiving it. And I more or less stated, please don't put that back on the shelf. For the fact it did overheat and a warning came up i could have had that one bag bad apple out of the bunch and um, we did not buy anything else we just staying with the chromecast and we're doing just fine just having antenna and having the chromecast there are things that you're needing to give up for you to understand that enjoy what you do have and that's what i'm doing I miss my Bravo, but it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> what I have learned about other places in the United States. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, that is the story of the Roku. I, I am not going to tell anyone not to buy it for my mother's habit, has it and she's not had any problems. But I just want to advise everyone to be cautious, to be aware and do your research on anything that you purchase the good and the bad learn from jj learn from me or they used to call me mama j now i'll be grandma j with a lot of glitter <laughs> thank you guys have a great day enjoy it make sure you drink plenty of liquids fluids it is going to be a hot one this week and we'll see you soon again
Thank you for your patience. Be good to yourself. Be good to others for we just don't know what part of their journey they're on. And we'll see you again in the next video. Bye.